Tale of the Radish Robber. Hey, stop robber! Stop it! Hey, cat! Stop that! Quick, look out! Those are my radishes! Peter, you said Mr. McGregor wouldn't spot us taking his radishes! Don't worry, Benjamin. He won't find us. Just keep quiet. Phew. Whoa! I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Quick, behind here! <gasps> dead end! You say dead end, I say there's a secret escape tunnel dug by my dad. Huh? Not here! I'll put you in a pose! Ah! He said the P word. Um, uh, I was sure the escape tunnel was here. Oh, um, uh, 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 uh. There it is! Whoa! Good old Dad. Hurry! Everyone ah. uh, 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 The radishes! Good thing your dad dug that tunnel. Yeah. All of his secret escapes are marked like this. See? Wow. Look at that. Four of the tastiest radishes I've ever seen. Oh, yummy. Radish. <gasps> Cottontail, you don't just gobble down a wall like this. First, you trim the leaves. Then you <laughs> sniff. <laughs> And then you... Peter! Quick, hide them under the cushions. If Mum sees them, she'll know we were in Miss McGregor's garden. Hmm. Now, my dears, having a nice morning, are we? Uh, uh, yes, Mum. Yes, Auntie. Lovely weather. Yes. Uh, yes. Been getting up to mischief in Mr McGregor's garden? Yeah, uh, no. I hope not. You know how dangerous that place can be. Radishes? <laughs> Cottontail. <laughs> Don't worry, Mum. We'd much rather be somewhere nice and safe. <laughs> safe enough to eat our radishes, that is. Let's hop to it. This is the perfect spot. Ready to eat? <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> Hello, boys. <gasps> Oh, phew. Lily, it's only you. Florence and I were just taking the laundry to Mrs Tiggywinkle's. Weren't we, Florence? Oh, radishes. I've heard about those. Don't tell me you've never seen a radish before. No. Are they as nice as everyone says they are? Huh? Shh! <gasps> Ever get that feeling someone is watching you? I do. Maybe someone is after your radishes. What you need is a secret place to eat them. Oh, I know where. Quick! Hide them in here. Follow me. Them? I think so. Whoa! Ugh. I I meant to do that. This is the perfect place to eat the radishes. Let's get munching. Yeah! Yay! The radishes! <laughs> well, look my spines. If it isn't Peter Rabbit, and Benjamin and Lily too, if you please. And what brings you three youngsters to my door? Morning, Mrs Tiggywinkle. We just thought, uh, we thought we could help you with the laundry. Oh, a 
an offer kindly made is an offer accepted kindly. That's it, Lily. Put your back into it. Come on now, Benjamin. Oh, <laughs> oh not there. Not there. Found them! Oh, no! Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh! Come here! Doing laundry isn't as easy as it looks, is it? Uh -huh. Well, thank you, Mrs. Tiggywinkle. Oh, uh, goodbye. Maybe should be going. Oh, always in such a rabbity rush. <laughs> that radish has got to be here somewhere. Look, you can tell by the grass that it landed right here. You know what that means? It was taken by a radish robber. <gasps> Taking somebody else's radishes? Imagine! Huh! <sighs> yeah, imagine. <sighs> there must be somewhere we can eat our radishes in peace. What we need is a tip-top idea. Oh! It doesn't get much tip toppier than the squirrel camp. Rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. Why don't we see how many kinds of trees we can spot? There's a lot. I know that for a fact. Oh, and a pine. And a another really, really high tree. Please, can we go back down? Peter, I know it's pretty up here, but don't you think eating radishes in trees is, well, a little bit crazy? What? Someone say crazy! <laughs> I said it, and I was upside down! <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, Nutkin. Anything for my long-eared friends. Flippity floppity flee, three rabbits in the tree. <laughs> I'm not that hungry anymore. You know the best way to work up an appetite? Hmm? Juggling! <laughs> hey, careful with those! Watch out, Peter! <laughs> Sorry about that, my friend. Once again, my squirrely exuberance got the best of me and caused untold heartache. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> you can open your eyes now, Benjamin. We're on the ground. Uh, uh, I knew that. Um, I was just doing an extra long blink. The radishes are gone. The radish robber must have followed us here too. I say we could hold our breath, dive to the bottom of the river and eat our radishes there. Or I know a perfect spot at Hilltop Farm. We should tie it to a bird and eat it in the sky. Ooh, we should bury it until next summer. Hey, huh? what if we just, you know, eat it right now? Brilliant! Yay, radish time! I tell you what, though, if I ever get my paws on whoever took our radishes, there'll be a... 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 furry? <gasps> Mr Todd! <laughs> Three little rabbits out in the woods all alone? You shouldn't sneak up like that. I'm a fox. Sneaking is sort of what I do. Oh, and what's this? A radish? Mmm. I am quite keen on the peppery flavour of Raffinus sativus, as it happens. Maybe he's the radish robber. Ah, oh, <gasps> come, come, Peter Rabbit. Even your father never tried to outfox a fox. Dad's secret escape. Good old Dad. Very well, Mr Todd. Ugh. You may have captured our last radish, but you won't catch us. Ah, well, the main dish may have escaped, but the salad is intact. <laughs> Oh. 
cheer up. We'll just get more radishes from Mr McGregor's tomorrow. Hey, can you smell that? <laughs> it can't be. It is! Radish, radish soup. soup! That's right. Little Cottontail brought them home. She just found them lying around in the woods. <laughs> our radishes? You, you, you've been taking all our radishes. <laughs> yes. Well done, Cottontail. Good scavenging. Much less dangerous than, say, taking them from Mr. McGregor's garden. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you like your first taste of radishes? Peter Rabbit. But it wasn't me. Lily! Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> The Tale of the Greedy Fox Hmm, what do we want today? A, a carrot? A turnip? <laughs> Maybe not the cat, Peter. Whoa! Scrummy cucumbers! Watch this! Uh, uh. Ah, my favourite jacket! Uh, uh, fox! Uh. <laughs> Mr Todd, can we have our fishing rod back, please? Of course, my dear boy. After all, why on earth would I want to go fishing when I can have rabbit for dinner? Mr. Todd, give me back my friend! <laughs> Lily, what are you doing? Come on! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, ah. Ow. You'll slip up one of these days, Peter Rabbit! <laughs> <sighs> ha! Crap apples! Nice one, Lily! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Do you think we lost him? Ah, poor Benjamin. You need a big hug. Uh, I'd rather have a big cucumber. <laughs> or how about oat cakes? What are they doing out here? Waiting to be eaten. Hey, we can't just take them. If we don't, someone else will. But these hot, sweet, steaming oat cakes! Oh, my tummy! Oh. Someone must have eaten them! Oh, imagine! Have you seen them? Oh, oh, have you? Have you? Oh, oh, whatever has happened to my freshly baked oat cakes? Your oat cakes! Oh, what oat cakes, Mrs. Puddle Duck? Only the sweetest, crumbliest, or cakeiest, or cakes I ever did bake. They must have fallen out of my basket on the way to the river. Oh, someone did eat them. Imagine. Yes, imagine eating someone else's oat cakes. Mr. Todd took them. <gasps> oh, oh, my. Oh, dearie me. Oh, my. Well, there's only one thing to be done. I should have words with that thieving fox. Right away! Phew! I thought we were in trouble there for sure. Jemima Puddle Duck's the one in trouble. She's heading to Mr Todd's. And foxes eat ducks. <gasps> yeah, this is bad. Very bad. I didn't think she'd go looking for him. We've got to stop her. Stop my oat cakes. The chick. I'm going to give that fox a piece of my mind. I say, stop making this infernal hullabaloo. Oh, and what do we have here? I will make a hullabaloo, what's it, Mr Todd? You ate my oat cakes without asking. Oat cakes? Ugh, too plain for me. I'm more of a meat eater. Ah, now it's no use telling fibs, Mr Todd. But my dear Jemima... To have one's precious oatcake stolen must be exceedingly distressing. Oh, it is. Exceedingly. 
exceedingly early. So please, let me cook you a brand new batch. It's the very least I can do for such a fair lady. Oh, well, you are a gentleman. And here I was thinking you're a no good, Nick. What a silly. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Toad's lying! He's not going to cook oat cakes, he's going to cook Jemima! <gasps> not if we can help it! Come on! <laughs> oh dear! I'm such a butterwings! Nonsense! Besides, for such an honoured guest, we should use only my largest cooking pot. Ah, here we are. My recipe for roast duck. My, this pot is enormous! I could fit in there myself. Oh, you don't say. Mrs. Puddleduck. I need to get higher. Benjamin, stop moving. Uh, 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 <laughs> No good. If we can't get Mrs. Puddleduck out, then we'll just have to go in. What? No, Peter. Vegetables. I've never made oat cakes with vegetables before. Oh, don't you? I, I mean, don't they look delicious? Uh, would you mind terribly putting this orange in your mouth? <gasps> what on earth? Do excuse me for a moment, won't you? Ouch! <gasps> Oops! First a duck, now rabbits. A whole feast right on my doorstep. Psst! This is Puddle Duck. So much for the rabbits. At least there's still duck to be savoured. Oh, oh, bothersome fishing rod. Mrs. Puddle Duck. <laughs> Jemima, really. Oat cakes must be stirred with one's feet. Surely you knew. <coughs> <laughs> my feet? Oh, me, oh, my. Well, well, if you say so, Mr. Todd. That's it. <laughs> I've got to get her out of here. <laughs> Peter! Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. With an extra helping of... Uh-oh! We've got to do something. It's our fishing rod. Benjamin, you're a genius. You want to go fishing now? We're not going fishing. We're going to help Peter. We are? I mean, of course we are. Uh, don't let go. Don't let go. Uh, Almost down. Hold on tight, Benjamin. This mixture seems awfully watery for oat cakes. Mm, it's almost perfect. Just needs one more thing. The lid. Oh, no, you don't. You leave Mrs. Puddle Duck alone or else. Peter Rabbit, what a surprise. And just in time to join us for oat cakes. Yes, Peter. Do stay for dinner. I insist. Now, I wonder who to have for the main course. <laughs> Lily, I can't. Oh, no. Miney. Oh. <coughs> oh, me, oh my. Oh, my poor nerves. And just look at all this mess. Rule one of cooking, Mr. Todd. Keep a tidy kitchen. No, this won't do. Good day to you. Dizzy duck. Thanks to you, duck is off the menu. 
but it's a good thing I prefer rabbits. Oh, no, Peter. He might be bigger than us, but we're quicker. Let's hop to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Mr. Todd, over here! Stand your ground! You got no time to get away! Stand your ground! Come on, think fast and you can save the day! Again. We have something to tell you, Mrs. Puzzle Duck, don't we, Peter? We were the ones who ate your oat cakes. <gasps> we're sorry. We made you some more, though. Oh, they might be a bit burnt. And please, Mrs. Puzzle Duck, if a fox ever offers you oat cakes again, don't take them. He was going to eat you. <laughs> A nice gentleman like Mr. Todd? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> we tried. Oh, yum, crispy, just the way I like them. <laughs> 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 